United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, has recently announced that the Su-75 Checkmate, Russia's ambitious fifth-generation light tactical fighter project, has attained a significant stage of development. Sergei Korotkov, the Deputy Director General and General Designer of UAC, indicated confidence in the program's future, stating that the aircraft has attained the necessary level of readiness for further development. The Checkmate is a departure from the conventional fighter design philosophy, as it is being developed as an integrated system of interacting aircraft rather than as a standalone aircraft. Director General Alexander McKeeve of Rosabrone Export verified at the Egypt International Air Show in early September 2024 that this innovative approach has already attracted the attention of potential customers, particularly in the Middle East and Africa. The modular design concept of the Su-75 is one of its most remarkable characteristics. At the end of 2023, UAC secured a patent for a universal design that enables the aircraft to undergo significant modifications in its functionality without affecting its flying capabilities. While maintaining the fundamental design and cost effectiveness, this innovative platform facilitates the installation of specialized head units during the build process, allowing for a variety of configurations such as unmanned variants, two-seat crew cabins, or single-seat cockpits. UAC unveiled an improved version of the Checkmate at the World Defense Show 2024 in Riyadh, which incorporated substantial design modifications. One of the most significant modifications is the redesign of the air intake system, which now includes a single channel at the flow inlet without a bulkhead, replacing the previous dual-channel design. Additionally, the aircraft is equipped with enlarged flaperons on the wings, modified control surfaces, and tail beams. The Checkmate boasts remarkable technical specifications, including the ability to reach altitudes of 16,500 meters and achieve speeds of Mach 1.8. At takeoff, the aircraft weighs 18 tons. The fighter is expected to be equipped with a KOF-75 targeting device, an AESA X-band radar, and an infrared watch. Its payload capacity of 7.5 tons enables the deployment of a variety of missiles, explosives, and rockets. UAC CEO Yuri Slyusar has suggested that the development timeline is accelerating, with the possibility of deliveries commencing as early as 2025, which is one year ahead of the original schedule. The aircraft's design is based on the scientific and technical solutions that were developed for the Su-57E and incorporates the lessons learned from combat operations in Syria. In order to optimize costs and maintenance, the Checkmate incorporates numerous components from extant Russian aircraft, such as the Su-57's cockpit design and onboard systems. Sukhoi designer Mikhail Nikitushkin has confirmed that the Checkmate's power plant is a modified version of the Product 117 turbojet bypass engine, AL-41F1, which has been specifically adapted for single-engine operation with improved reliability features. The Checkmate will be the first single-engine fighter in Russian aviation since the MiG-23, and this engine choice is a significant milestone. When it unveiled the new fifth-generation light combat aircraft in July 2021, the Russian corporation Rostec did not hide the fact that it intended to export the Su-75 Checkmate to several countries, including Vietnam, Argentina, the United Arab Emirates, and India. The Russians say that Checkmate is a compelling choice in the international fighter market, as it is projected to have operating costs that are up to seven times lower than those of comparable Western fighters such as the F-35A, with an estimated unit cost of $30 million. UAC's comprehensive approach to the aircraft's development, which integrates advanced technology with practical considerations for maintenance and operational costs, indicates a robust foundation for the program's future success. The aircraft was supposed to make its first flight in 2023, and it is yet to fly. The project's advancement represents a substantial advancement in Russia's aerospace capabilities and has the potential to significantly impact the future trajectory of fighter aircraft development particularly in the areas of modular design and adaptable platforms. The aviation community is closely monitoring the progress of the program to determine the performance of this innovative fighter in real-world scenarios. Now, do you think Russia will be able to deliver Su-75 to a customer for another decade given the Western sanctions?
Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.